Hallelujah. <clears throat> Good morning. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord today. Yes. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. This beautiful Thursday morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Good morning, Pastor Sabrina. Good morning, Elena Williams. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Good morning. So thankful and grateful for this day that the Lord has made. Just honor him and praise him, love him, and lift him up today. He is a mighty God. He is an awesome God. He is a wonderful God. Hallelujah. And we just thank him and praise him. We just love him this morning. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. What an awesome God. What a mighty God that we serve. Yes, Father. Janice Moultrie, Walter Collins, good morning to you. Welcome. Thank you, Lord. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We just love you and praise you this morning. Wanda Williams, Mary Stacy, good morning to you, ladies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just thank you and praise you. We just come into your presence today with thanksgiving and honor and glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Praise him, praise him, praise him this morning. Praise the Lord. Thank you, everyone, for joining me this morning. Jacqueline Hamilton. Good morning, Cousin Robin. Good to see you this morning. Auntie Willamay, good morning. Odette Pinnell, good morning. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Yes, we just thank the Lord and praise him for this beautiful and awesome day today. Hallelujah. Thank you this morning. Gail Hamilton Baffert, good morning to you. Sandra, God favor me sample, good morning. Jackie Hamilton, I think I spoke to you, but if I didn't, good morning. Juanita Hudson, good morning. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. All right, let us read. Hallelujah. I just want to read one song today for you to take with you all the day long. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restored my soul. He led me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this morning. We enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. We come to lift you up, to magnify you and glorify you, God, to honor you this day. For you are truly an awesome God and a righteous God. You are a just God, an amazing God, a loving God. And Father, we just thank you for all that you've done and all that you continue to do for us. Father God, we thank you for your presence in our lives today. Lord God, we just want to thank you and praise you. We just want to lift you up this morning. Father, I thank you and praise you this morning, God, for who you are and whose we are. We are kings, of, we are kids of the most high God. Father, we thank you and praise you this morning. We thank you for your outpouring of your love upon us this day. The outpouring of your joy and your peace upon us today. Lord God, we just thank you and praise you this morning. There is no God like you. You sit high and, and look low. Father God, we thank you right now that you are very present help in time of our troubles. Lord, we hollow out your name this morning. To some, you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. To someone else, you are Jehovah Rophi, our healer this morning. Father, we thank you that you are Jehovah Shalom, the God of our peace today. Jesus is our Prince of Peace. Lord, we thank you and praise you as we honor your name, El Shaddai, God Almighty, the many-breasted one. We thank you and praise you, El Olam, the eternal God, the everlasting God. You are Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. Father, you are Jehovah Shammah. You are our companion this morning. You are Adonai, sovereign and majestic, and we thank you and praise you, Heavenly Father. Lord God, we thank you this morning that you loved us so much that you gave your only begotten son so that we should not die but live, have everlasting life. 
Father, we thank you that Jesus did not come into this world to condemn us, but through him, the world might be saved. Lord God, we thank you and praise you this morning. We thank you, God, that by his stripes we are healed. Father, we thank you for the blood, for the redemption of our sins. Lord God, we thank you for the resurrection to give us eternal life because we are seated in him next to you at the right hand of your throne, Father. But Lord, we thank you and praise you that Jesus did not leave us alone or comfortless. He left us with a strengthener, with a helper. He left us with the spirit of truth. He left us with your presence, the Holy Ghost, and your presence is in us and upon us this day. Father, we receive your Holy Ghost in everything that we do, everywhere that we go. We thank you for your presence always being with us. You will never fail us, forsake us, or leave us, and we thank you this morning, Father. Lord God, thank you that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Every tongue that rise up against us, we shall condemn as your servants, for this is our heritage. Hallelujah, for our righteousness is of you, Lord. Father, we just thank you and praise you now in Jesus' name. Give God praise wherever you are. Hallelujah. I'm thanking and praising God for this beautiful Thursday morning. I'm, I'm, I'm ahead still. Hallelujah. This Wednesday morning, I just thank the Lord for you. Thank God for you joining me this morning. I'm thanking God because he is an awesome God. He's a wonderful God. And no matter what the situation is, God will see you through. Hallelujah. He will bring you out. Hallelujah. Like, like the angel asked, asked Sarah, is there anything too hard for the Lord? There's nothing in your life today that you and God cannot help. There's nothing in your life today that God don't want to be a part of. There's nothing in your life today that you should try to handle by yourself. Remember the scripture, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean out into your own understanding. In everything you do, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Hallelujah. Let me pray for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you on the behalf of my brothers and sisters. These, your sheep, your children, hallelujah, declaring your kingdom come, your will be done in their lives today as the plan and the will of God is in heaven. Father, I thank you for giving them more strength today than they had yesterday. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving them more joy than they had yesterday, for giving them more love and more peace today, God. And Father, I declare that your peace that keeps them and covers them is all around them, God. They got peace going out, peace coming in, peace on the job, peace in their home. Lord God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, I thank you right now that we are surrounded by your angels of protection in the north, south, east, and west. Father, surrounding us, Father, while we drive, while we walk, while we talk, whatever. Father, just thank you for sending your angels to be a hedge of protection all around us. Lord God, I thank you and praise you right now that you sent your word and your word has healed us. Father, we're rejoicing because we are healed. By the stripes of Jesus, we're healed. By his words, we're healed. Father, God, and I declare and just thank you and praise you this morning, God, that the joy of the Lord is our strength today. Father, thank you for restoration in their lives. Father, thank you for restoring that, hallelujah, which was stolen from them. Father, God, thank you for restoring their family relationship. Thank you for restoring their faith in you, God. Father, God, thank you right now for just being a, a loving and a kind God to us. And Father, I thank you that your promises to us are always yes and amen. Father, I thank you this morning for supplying all their need according to your riches and glory. I thank you for blessing them going out and blessing them coming in. Father God, I thank you right now for manifestation of your word, of your promises in their lives today. Lord God, I thank you right now that when we are weak, you are still strong, that your grace is sufficient for our lives today. Father, thank you for the turnaround. Father God, thank you this morning that as we cast all of our cares on you, you handle them and we can sleep, hallelujah, we can rest in you, God. Lord, thank you and praise you this morning for the promotion, God. Thank you for the unexpected increase on the north, south, east, and west, God. 
thank you for financial breakthroughs in their lives. Father, thank you for restoration of marriages this morning. Thank you for restoration of children and their parents, God. Thank you this morning, oh Heavenly Father, yes, that that veil has been torn and broken forever, God. Father, thank you for breaking generational curses off of their lives today. Lord God, I thank you and praise you right now in Jesus' name. Give God some praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise the Lord this morning. Child of God, understand that you don't have to put up with that no more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take it to God in prayer and leave it there when you take it to him. Hallelujah. I don't know what the issue is. I don't know what the problem is, but I want to tell you, just trust God. Just believe God. Know that God is still God. Know that God is still, he don't change. He does not change. Believe him. Believe God wants the best for you. Believe that God, hallelujah, wants to do great things in your life. Believe that God wants to make you better. I want you to believe that. I want you to believe that God is moving on your behalf right now as we speak. He's moving on your behalf. Don't doubt God. Hallelujah. Don't doubt God. What did Jehoshaphat say? Believe in the Lord your God, you'll be established. Believe in the prophet and you shall prosper. I'm telling you, don't doubt God. There's a miracle, more than a miracle with your name on it. There's blessings and breakthroughs with your name on it. But don't doubt God. Don't you get frustrated because you don't see what you thought should be happening in your life coming to pass. You just stay focused on the assignment. Stay focused on God. Keep the faith. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, come on, y'all. Let's move into some confession this morning. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning, everybody who came. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you. We just praise you, Lord. We just love you this morning. Come on. Come on. Y'all ready? Say this after me. I am beautiful. I am bold. I am special. I am unique. I am fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God. I am courageous. I am determined. I am victorious. I am a winner. I am a champion. I am unstoppable. I am unmovable. I am unshakable. I am unbreakable. I am loved. I am loving. I am gifted. I am talented. I am intelligent. I am amazing. I am anointed. I am blessed. I am empowered. I am successful. I am, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am whole, I am complete, I am healed, I am confident, I am faithful, I am dependable, I am reliable, I am trustworthy, I am forgiven, I am forgiving, I am grateful, I am humble, I am nice, I am kind, I am thankful, I am compassionate. I am generous. I am strong. I am capable. I am skillful. I am well able. I am graceful. I am divinely favored. I am chosen. I am royalty. I am holy. I am wonderful. I am sanctified. I am set apart. I am renewed. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am filled with the Holy Ghost. I am fire baptized. I am a new creature created in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away. All things are become new. Greater is the spirit of God and the power of God that's in me, that's upon me. Than any spirit, than any power that is in this world, I declare, I am a child of God. I am 
God's handiwork. I am God's masterpiece. In Jesus' name, give God praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my brothers and sisters. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank the Lord this morning. I thank God that you are. I want you to know today, remember to tell yourself you are something in God today, in Christ today. Speak to yourself. Encourage yourself. Don't, don't, don't wait for other people to tell you, hey, you're beautiful. Don't wait for other people to tell you, hey, you know what? You're smart. You're intelligent. No, you tell yourself. You speak to yourself. David encouraged himself in the Lord. Hallelujah. Paul praised God. Him and Silas in the midst of a bad situation. But hey, listen, I don't care what it is. Encourage yourself in the Lord and give God praise no matter where you are today. Hallelujah. Just tell the Lord thank you. Thank you this morning. Tell him thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise you the Lord. I want to read the scripture to you. It's a familiar scripture. I say it's familiar because we say it. And it's Luke 6.38. It says, give, and it should be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet, with all it shall be measured to you again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Listen, we got businesses. We're believing God for unexpected income. We're believing God for financial increase. Well, we're going to speak it into existence. Hallelujah. But remember, faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. Hallelujah. I said this before. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to keep saying it. You provide people with services or goods or something like that. And, you know, people call you and say, hey, can you do this for me? Or can you do that? And they always calling you. Well, don't you know that those little things that you're doing cost time? Time and money are two things you can never get back. Um, I, I, this is the quickest example I always come to my head. I don't know. Maybe maybe you can make some good um, um, bread pudding. You know. Maybe, what they call the thing? Is it bread pudding? Yeah. yeah, maybe you make good bread pudding. And people are always calling and asking you, can you make them one? You say, yeah, no problem. But there is a problem. You spending your money to buy it and then you just give it away. That's good. You've been a blessing. A lot of people know about your bread pudding, so they call you. Guess what? You believe in God for financial increase. Well, there it is right there. You can tell them today, when somebody call you, ask you for that bread pudding, say, I'm no longer giving it away. I sell it. And it costs $15, $20, whatever it is. If they want it, they're going to pay for it. Why? Because they like it. If they like it free, they should like it enough to pay for it. But you believe in God for an increase. You done gave it away for the last 10, 20 years. Now in 2022, it's time to say, no, let me put the brakes on this. I'm on a fixed income or whatever. I'm trying to get more and more to save more, to do more. Hey, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It costs. It costs. Praise the Lord. So come on, say this after me. Say, I am a giver, and men given to my bosom, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. I am blessed by the Most High God. I give offerings willingly. I am a cheerful giver in the house of the Lord. God has given me the power to get wealth. And I declare that I operate in that power. And that power enables me to bless my house, to bless God's house, and to help others. I worship God with the giving of my finances. Wealth and riches are in my house because I am the righteousness of Almighty God. God causes me to inherit 
substance and fills my treasures. The wealth of the sinner is laid up for me and I'm going to get it. Riches and wealth are a gift from the Lord. I am more blessed as a giver. I am blessed financially to be a financial blessing. I will shout for joy and be glad because my God has pleasure in my prosperity. I follow God and I declare that he gives me the desires of my house. I declare all my needs are met. I am out of debt. I declare that my business, my businesses are prospered in the north, south, east, and west. I declare that unexpected income is coming into my hands, into my bank account, into my mailbox. In the name of Jesus, let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Hey, listen, child of God, we know James talks about faith and works. Hallelujah. Psalm 1 verse 3 talks about whatsoever you do, it shall prosper. Listen, don't be afraid to work. If, if you started a business since the pandemic, just before the pandemic, don't be afraid to work your business. Don't be afraid to expand your business. Don't be afraid to charge for your services. I'm just trying to encourage you. Don't, and listen, if doubt has creeped in, snuck in, walked in, and started telling you people not going to pay this much for this, people don't have no money, I need you to knock that right out the box. I need you to start declaring that people are coming from the north, south, east, and west to support my business. I have repeat customers. I have new customers. I have young customers, old customers. I start. I need you to start confessing that God is blessing your business so you can be a blessing. I need you to speak that thing into existence. Why? Because you are a giver. Why? Because you bless the house of God. You bless God. You do God's will. You help out other people. I need you to believe for expansion. Also, I need you to believe for diversification. Now, what am I talking about? That your business is multi. It's many different things. You may have one business. Maybe you're doing just soaps. Now you're branching off and you adding on to your soaps. You're doing some perfume and cologne. But now you're branching off and maybe you're making some candles, some scented candles as well. Now you may have started with just making soaps, but now you done moved on to, you know, now you're doing perfumes. And, and, and now you done moved on to where you're doing scented candles. There's a market for all of that. And maybe with your business, you're offering a bundle. You're offering everything at a certain price. And people are buying the bundles. But you got to believe that it's going to happen for you. You got to believe that it's going to come to pass. You got to believe even in drought, you are still prospering. Child of God. You still got to believe. You know what? I don't know what, what the economy is doing, but my economy is looking good. You got to believe. You got to believe. Believe that God will enlarge your territory for your business to be successful. Believe that God, hallelujah, will let you leave an inheritance for your children's children. Not just a memory, but you'll give them a head start. Believe God. Believe God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Drop your business name in there. Let me pray for it. And then we're going to end out with our favor confession. Drop your business name in there this morning. Let me pray for your businesses this morning. Hallelujah. Let me pray. Hallelujah. For your business. 
for you for wisdom. Hallelujah. You got to believe. And you cannot be afraid to step out in faith. You came here this morning by faith. Believe God that faith is increasing you. Believe God that you're on the move. Believe God that he is doing a great thing in your life, in your family life, in your household, in your church, in your business. Believe God that he is doing greater. Hallelujah. Praise the praise the praise All right, let me get these business in here. I'm talking too much. Maverick Elite Services, LLC. Trusted Paralegal Services. Hutchins Resources. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. NBC Entertainment. Sunny Kisses Tanning Salon. Heavenly Sins by Alina. Kiki Sweets and Treats. SDS Fragrance Collection, LLC, SDS Notary, praise the, praise the Lord. L&W Consultant, praise the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. La Brittany's Cleaning Services, LLC, hallelujah. Uplift Church, 429, Church Chick Tees, JSMS Unlimited. Moultrie Detailing, Love, Hope, Healing, Shana Sweets, LLC, Terry Hudson Lawn Care, Bowles Kitchen, hallelujah. ASG Flora Designs and more, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's so nice to see so many families with businesses. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. We got any more? Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, how many of y'all want these businesses to take you off of your job? Just say I do. Praise the Lord. You want these businesses to take you off of your job to be able to provide. All right. God's queen of poetry. Hallelujah. I hear your co-Cynthia next. Praise the Lord. But if you want to want, want to come off of your job, Flawless Lips, LLC, I got you there, Monteria Graham. Hallelujah. If you want this business to, to take you off your job, let me speak something. Let me say something to you. You got to work it. You got to put your time in. You got to invest in it. Look at what other people around you are doing and then don't be afraid to say, you know what? Let me get on the move. Let me start balling. Let me start rolling. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put your sweat equity in. But in the end, the reward will be great. So far, I only got two people who want to come off their job with their business. Well, come on, y'all. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you this morning on the behalf of these business owners and these businesses, declaring your kingdom come, your will be done in their lives as planned and the will of God is in heaven. Father, I pray right now for expansion. I pray for increase. I pray for the motivation, the desire for them to operate in these businesses. Oh, Heavenly Father, hallelujah, at a level that they never operated at before starting today. Father, I thank you for wisdom. Thank you for revelation, knowledge, and discernment. Father God, I thank you right now, oh, Heavenly Father, that you are increasing them the more and more. And Father, I thank you that your perfect love has casted out any fear or any doubt that they may have concerning their business, concerning their lives, Father. Father, I thank you for the buildings. I thank you for the spaces, God. I thank you for the customers coming to them from the north, south, east, and west. And Father, I thank you for the manifold blessing that you place upon their lives. Father, I thank you for sending them faithful, committed, skillful, loyal, able, prompt to do, on fire workers, hallelujah, staffs and managers, God. Father, I thank you for multiple locations, hallelujah, to do their business, God, in the north, south, east, and west. Father, and I just thank you right now. Yes, thank you, Father that you have already orchestrated and ordained the resources to help them, to bless them, to favor them. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. Give God some praise this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Listen, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. You see all these businesses listed on here. Support one another. Reach out. If you see somebody doing something that you may need or service you may need, reach out to them. Don't be afraid. Reach out. They're, they're part of the ministry. At least you know some of your money going back to church. But reach out. Let them know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. If you have a flyer or a business card for your business, Post it on our uh, web page later today. Post it in Uplift Church 429 so others will see it. Hallelujah. And know what you do. 
Now, just don't post on anybody's stuff. I want you to post your stuff, your business. Not, not pooking them and all that. No, you're part of this prayer. I want to see yours. I want to just set that straight because I know I got some people out here. You know, there's people out in the world. They ain't, they ain't concerned about God. But if you have your business, post it in here so people can see what you're doing. And if you don't have you no know, business cards, you need to get you some. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Come on, y'all. We got one minute left. Let's do this favor confession. Say this after me. Say, Father, I thank you for your grace, undeserved, unearned, unmerited, favor, your supernatural power, ability, and authority that surrounds my life as a shield. I declare the favor of God is working for me when I'm asleep, when I'm awake, when I get up, when I lay down, when I go out, when I come in, in my home, on my job, with my businesses. I have favor, good success, and a good understanding in the sight of God and man. I thank you, Father, for raising up people to use their favor, power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, strength, money, revelation knowledge, discernment, and wisdom to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. Thank you, Father, for raising me up to use my power, use my favor, my power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, strength, money, discernment, revelation knowledge, and wisdom to help someone, to bless someone, to do good to someone. I declare the favor of God is causing rules, laws, revelation, regulations, and ordinances to be changed, created, and modified to help me, to favor me. I am Abraham's seed and the blessings and favor of Abraham are on my life. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Say it again. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Say it one more time. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Every time I turn around, God's favor is blessing me. Turn around one time. Hallelujah. Turn around one more. Let me turn around somebody who can't. Hallelujah. Those of you laying in the bed, now don't hit the floor. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's reach up. Let's touch the hem of his garment and pull down his favor today. Say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment and I pull down. Favor in Jesus' name. Pull it down this morning. Woo! <laughs> praise him, praise him, praise him. Well, I want to thank y'all for joining me this morning. Thank you for inviting somebody else to prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I want you to have a wonderful, blessed day, a God-filled day. Hallelujah. Work your business today. Work the word. Work the faith of God in your life today. Don't be, in, be discouraged. Be encouraged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come back tonight for Bible study at 7 p.m. Join Pastor Sabrina, Pastor Angela, and myself tonight for Bible study. Yes, thank you. I know we're going to have a good time in the word, so I'm looking forward to seeing you all tonight. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you. And also, don't forget, we do have prayer tomorrow morning at 7 
invite somebody else to come with you. Looking forward to you to just having another good, awesome prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So with that being said, on the behalf of myself, James Tiger Wilkinson, the senior pastor of Uplift Church 429, my beautiful queen, my wife, Pastor Sabrina, our family team, Wilkinson, and of course, the most beautifulest, amazing, wonderful, the bestest, blessedest, Holy Ghost filled, devil stumping, fire baptized, hallelujah, committed, skillful lawyer, able, prompt to do, on fire, Holy Ghost filled ministry on this side of heaven, our Uplift Church 429 family, and you, our Uplift Church Facebook Live family, God bless you, I love you, see you tonight, peace, have a wonderful day, everybody, hallelujah.